Welcome to the demonstration of the user side of the smart health prediction. The front end is Android and the back end is SQL Server. Similar to a normal doctor, how he consults his patients, what diseases patient is having or could be having. So similar to the doctor, here the app is your doctor and he asks for your symptoms and predicts a disease. And also gives the doctor's details after it predicts a disease. As the user is notified with the disease and the doctor's details, the doctor is notified with the disease and your details, that is the patient's basic information details. We have made two different apps for doctors and patients. Let's start with the patient's app first. Let's see. So it asks for the login details. Let's sign up. The registration module has the basic registration details to fill. The ID is generated by the system. Let's log in. So there are four modules here for the patient. My details, search disease, search doctor and feedback. My details consist of all the details, the basic details of the patient which can be updated. Let's see search disease module. Search disease module is the module where a disease is predicted where the user is asked for the symptoms. So let's enter a symptom. Let's say headache. Click on next. It asks for more symptoms. It is asking are you facing any of these symptoms too? Chills or fever? So there is a drop down below. So you have to select anyone. Let's say we have fever too. Let's say next. It asks whether you have large tender limb nodes or joint pains. Let's say we have joint pains too. Next. Measles like rashes. Let's say yes. Analysis complete. Suspected disease is dengue. It also tells you. Uh, it also tells you the disease is based on what? Whether it is like more dangerous or whether it is uh, less dangerous. It also tells you whether the disease is much contagious. Here in this category, the disease belongs to infectious. Uh, it also tells you about the doctor details below uh, with his uh, name, address and his contact details. Let's see the search doctor module. The search doctor module has three categories. You can search by name, category or address. You, if you know a doctor's name, you can directly enter the doctor's name and search. Or you could just enter the doctor's initials for say doctors with A. So all the doctor's name starting with A shows up. Same way with category and address. Let's say we select address. So it goes like that. Um, let's see the feedback module and you can enter your feedback. And submit your feed. Let's go back to the search disease module again. Let's enter headache again. Say next. It asks whether you have chills or fever. Let's say we have none. So select none. It shows all the diseases whose symptoms may have headache. So for example here it shows three diseases. So it's just a prediction. Let's see the doctor's module. The doctor is registered in the admin side. So here you will just have to enter the login details. The doctor has four modules as well. 
his details, notification, view disease and view patient. His my details consist of all the basic details of the doctor which can be updated. Notification. Notifications are all those details that the patient has searched uh, like the patient searched for his diseases so all the symptoms taken by the system and it predicts a disease with its date and time are shown here let's see the view disease in the view disease module the disease id its name the symptoms and the type of disease for example like heart or it's related to bone details are specified here and they are added by the admin let's see the view patient module all the patients that those who have registered in the app their basic details will be shown here so let's see the admin module we'll enter the admin id and its password and i'll say login so it says wrong password, so I have to re-enter the correct password and I'll say login. So admin has options of add doctors, add disease, uh, view patients, view doctors, view disease and view feedbacks. So let's uh, see add doctors uh, page first. So here admin have to enter the doctor details like its name, address, mobile number and the category of uh, which category of doctor he is. Next is uh, add disease and uh, this is uh, we'll enter the name of disease, uh, its symptoms, which is updated by comma. So uh, we have to enter uh, symptoms like headache, comma, back pain, comma, uh, any some other uh, symptoms and this is name and you have to select the type of uh, disease and you have to say submit. Next is uh, view patient. Uh, in view patient, uh, you get the details of uh, all the patients registered into the system and when you enter its ID over here and you say search, uh, you can see its uh, history uh, that uh, what patient has uh, searched earlier. Uh, so this is the patient 1001 and he has searched for uh, uh, this symptom and he has got uh, this disease is the output. and a type of disease and if we go back again and if we search for some other patient like 1002 it won't appear as this patient has uh, not searched anything so let's see for 2007 so here you can see that uh, this patient has uh, searched and here is his uh, history so now let's see view doctors module so these are all the doctors uh, registered into the system and you will get uh, their details in this page. So next is view disease, uh, here are the name of the disease, its ID and the symptoms of the disease like uh, this uh, disease has uh, the symptoms and its type of uh, heart, bones, infections etc. whichever admin has added into the system. So next we have is the view feedback model. So here you can see that uh, uh, all the users who have submitted feeds uh, is being shown over here with its uh, feed and the date. This is how the admin part for the smart health prediction system works. Thank you.